On today's Nature Minute, we're talking about salamanders. Salamanders have long been associated with fire in folklore and legend, either being born of fire or possessing the capability to put out fires on contact. In fact, in the novel Fahrenheit 451, the salamander is the symbol of the firemen and the name of their trucks. Salamanders are also often mistaken for lizards, but are actually amphibians, not reptiles, and as such, they need to live in moist environments to survive. Many salamander species can breathe and absorb moisture through their thin, porous skin. Unfortunately, their permeable skin can make them more susceptible to dehydration and other harmful effects of pollution. Most species need to breed in pools of water, and their young begin in an aquatic larval phase, like tadpoles and frogs. Salamanders are carnivorous and will eat a variety of small invertebrates including worms, ants, beetles, crickets, spiders, centipedes, and snails. The California giant salamander has a particular liking for banana slugs. Salamanders catch food by sitting still and waiting for it to get close enough to lunch. Did you know that in San Mateo County there are at least seven different species of salamanders? And that newts are actually a type of salamander. Some commonly seen species in our parks are the rough-skinned newts and California newts, which can be distinguished by the color of skin around their eyes. California slender salamanders are also common in our parks. They look like snakes, but have itty-bitty little legs. A lucky visitor will glimpse the California giant salamander. These are one of the largest species of salamanders in North America and can grow up to one foot in length. Salamanders are most frequently seen in our parks after a good rain, and they can be hard to spot, so be sure to watch your step on the trails and keep a lookout for our amphibious friends. Thank you for watching!